What is up, guys? It's our pally here. Anyways, um, just hit 14 rune crafting, and I plan on moving on now over to fire runes, and I'm gonna be there all the way till 44. Um, that's my plan, so I can get 44 rune crafting, so I can craft. Oh, wrong thing. So I can craft nature runes at 44. Um, this right here, but by me doing this, unlocks a money making method. So, there will be quests in this episode, because I know some people has messaged me and said not so many quests, but the quest cape is the actual goal for now. So, um, try not to do as many per episode, but expect quests being done in each episode. Because um, as a main, I need Burrow's Gloves ASAP, I need them like yesterday. Um, there's just stuff I need for as a main to better play efficiently. So... Uh, right now, I'm going to get 44 room crafting, so I will see you guys then, probably in about two to three hours. Okay, about to hit 50 fire making for a couple of the requirements. Mainly, oh no, not 50, 45. Um, I'm going for 50, and I gotta buy my maple logs now. Well, that was a fail and a half. Okay, this one is going to be 50 fire making. There it is, 50 fire making. I can now go to Winter Todd. That's what I was doing that for. But before that, I am going back to room crafting and finishing up 44 room crafting. Okay, so here we are. Go ahead and get this 44 room crafting. There it is, and the grind is over. Can make the na nature rooms now. And that's the money making method I wanted to go ahead and unlock. So uh, let's just go and I'll show you how much we have made as far as the astral runes go. Astral runes. And I don't know why I said that. I guess because like, the guy was buying an astral rune here. But we've made 12,451 fire runes for 50k. Oh, and I added that to it as well. So. I'm not mistaken, this is going to be jungle potion completed. Um, hopefully, anyways. Yeah, one quest point, 750 herb blur, herb blur XP, however you want to set. Level? Yeah, level 13. And here comes dwarf cannon quest complete as well. Please, this is the end of the quest. Yep, there it is. Permission to purchase and use a dwarf multi cannon, which I don't have the GP for that at the moment. One quest point, 750 crafting XP. 20 crafting. Okay, about to finish up Vampire Slayer. I'll actually use the stake on him. Use the hammer. Okay, he's dead now. Anyways, Vampire Slayer done. Um, for 4,825 attack XP and 3 quest points. This is about to be Death Plateau completed. Or Plateau, however you want to say it. There it is for 3k attack XP. And the ability to make calls. And 45 attack. Okay, now after this quick little cutscene, the hardest quest in RuneScape is about to be done, which is Goblin Diplomacy. I don't know how I was able to do it. It's such a hard quest. There it is. 200 crafting XP, a gold bar, and 5 quest points. I believe all I have to do is add these muddy rocks on the corpse or a burial mound, and Mountain Daughter is complete. Yes. 2 quest points, 1k attack, 2k prayer. I don't believe we're getting any level for that, but got the bear head though. Fashion escape. I swear the things that you see at the GE is flying cows. Okay, we're about to complete Gertrude's cat. Go ahead and get this cat and grow it into or a kitten. And then go ahead and grow it into a cat. Let's see, come on, come on. Boom. Did I get a cooking level? Okay, that's weird. One quest point, a kitten, 1,525 cooking XP, a chocolate cake, a bowl of stew, 
I can raise cats. These are the stats at the moment, and I did 15 cooking. Sweet. Oh, right. After I talk to the high priest, this should be. I think it's pronounced Itchen's little helper. I believe that's how you pronounce it. I probably just slaughtered that, to be honest with you. But there it is. This quest was a pain. I liked to die like four or five times, but I got it. And we're we getting levels from that. 26 thieving, 34 agility, it's always nice. And 22 woodcutting, sweet. This is a flashback from your cat, so I figured I'd include it. I've never seen this before, so. Well, okay then. That was a little odd. We're about to complete Tribal Totem. Let's go ahead and give it back to him. For 1,775 thieving SP and 5 swordfish. No level. Oh, yep, level 28 thieving. Okay, so I'm doing a dig set. I'm trying to find the charcoal. If I'm not mistaken, and this quest guide over here tells me that I can come up here and pan and get some charcoal. Um, I've never found nuggets before. So, yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. Okay, so I'm an idiot. When I read the quest guide and it said tray, I thought it meant like this tray. Use the tray on that. Anyways, no, it's this tray. Okay, I believe it's about to finish up the, um... The dick sack quest after I use this on him. I think this is going to be it. Boom, there it is. Two quest points 15,300 mining XP and 2k herb glory XP and three gold bars. Uh, 32 mining and 19 herb lore. Okay, total level. Oh, wrong button. 512. Okay, about to complete the golem quest. Uh, use this on the golem. Then use that on there, right? Yep, that's it. For 1k crafting and 1k thieving and 1 quest point, the golem is complete. In levels, yeah, 26 crafting and 29 thieving. About to finish up a knight sword, so I find him. There's the squire. Give him the sword for 12,725 smithing XP, which brings you straight from 1 to 29 and 1 quest point. Okay, well, that's Elemental Workshop 1 quest complete um, for 5,000 crafting and 5,000 smithing, and the ability to make elemental shields and 1 quest point. In level up, see so yeah, 30 crafting and 32 smithing. It's nice about level up all these skills without even having to train them. And this should be Elemental Workshop 2 completed. Hey, and a task done as well. That's pretty sweet. One quest point, 7,500 smithing and crafting XP. And what's the one quest point? Uh, levels, not bad, 36 smithing, and 34 crafting. Okay, I'm about to go ahead and start recipe for disaster, but I'm not going to be, like, grinding it out 100%. I'm just going to do a little bit here and a little bit there, so, um, just thought I'd throw this in there. Do I go through the door to get the cutscene? Yeah, this is it. Okay. All right. Um, I think I'm going to do like the goblin one after this uh, cutscene. So I'll see you guys. Okay, I think this is going to be 
the general was done. Yes, for 1,000 cooking XP, 1,000 crafting, and 1,000 farming XP. And for the bank in the bottom. Uh, non farming. Good. I don't have any farming at all. So, 17 cooking. I just throw it off in the skills. About to wrap up Demon Slayer. Um, probably should have done this quest earlier, but three quest points. How many quest points we're at now? 81 quest points. That's really nice. That's good. that's a really good amount of quest points so far. I mean, um, at the end of this episode, I will go show the age of the account. Okay, there's Shadow of the Storm quest complete. Um, that quest actually was probably the hardest one I've done yet. Um, I decided to use the XP and range because I was level one, and it got me all the way to 27. So, save save a little bit of time, you know. There it is, 27 range. Okay, in order to do the next couple quests I don't want to do, I have to get 33 fire making, I believe it is. 36 fire making. Wow, 36 wood cutting. Yeah. Okay. Anyways, sorry, it's like 1 a.m. in the morning. I'm extremely tired. I'm trying to ground this out, get this quest out of the way. Um, but yeah, I gotta get 36 wood cutting to move on to the next batch of quests. Okay, there's our 36 wood cutting. Now on to some more quests. Okay, this is gonna be Fairy Tale Part One complete. So you're gonna find the Godfather. Well, where is he at? He was just right here. Where do you? Oh, there he is. Give him the Queen Secretary is back. And quest complete for 3,500 farming XP, 2,000 attack XP, 1,000 magic XP, and two quest points. Give me a total of 87 quest points so far. 46 attack, 20 farming, or sweet corn, which is really good. Um, on to next quest. Okay, if I'm not mistaken, this is going to be the completion of the Frankenstein quest. There it is. I don't think I got a level. Maybe I did. Anyways, 1000 theme SP. Hey, that's what's up. And after talking, well, I don't know what that was. After talking to him, this should be quest complete of the Souls Bane. Long dollar. There we go. Four, five hundred defense XP, five hundred hit points, five hundred gold coins, and one quest point, and ninety quest points now. Okay, so I know everybody's like, how did he get this six mil or seven mil cash stack? It's almost up to eight mil at one point. Well, my money making method is over. Um, what is that? There it is. I was buying tomatoes and baskets and filling them and making a huge profit off of it. But now, as you can see, I sold these for 418 each, which that when I started doing it, I was selling them for over 600 each. And look, they've already crashed down to 246 each. So that's where my money making method was at and that's where it came from I figured I'd share you guys it's just that you find a random money making method just by trolling around the GE and see what this was I started doing farming them at 25 now and um I was looking into like farming stuff and what I could do and then like what I needed to protect my trees when I could do trees I wasn't even able to do trees and I found this out and it's just something that I run across and on accident and I found it so I took advantage of it, made a lot of money because like if you did 10,000 of them, that was a three mil profit. I did quite a bit, and then all of a sudden I seen like the money's not getting good. Then I sold everything back off, and then yeah, so that's my cash left now. So that's how I made my money. I couldn't exactly say how to do it because it doesn't take very many people to mess up a money making method. But I figured I'd go ahead and share it with you now, being it's no longer a viable money making method at the moment it probably will be in the future though and there's 27 farming coming in I don't think we're gonna get another level on, on the farming run I'm doing a tree run right now I'm about to do my herb and allotments and then with 27 I can start my fruit trees as well 
Okay, this chart here should be 30 farming coming in as soon as I pick these herbs real quick. One more 30 farming, that means I can now plant willow trees. Kind of lagging a little bit. I don't know what's up. These servers are lagging like crazy today. Come on. Thank you, willow trees.